Hi, boys and girls. Well, we just went on a walk with William and Cammy, and they walked around a pond and we got to see some different animals. Well, I have another friend who also went to visit a pond, and her name is Joe McDonald. And Joe McDonald saw a pond on her farm. Wait a minute. I think I know that word, McDonald. Hmm. I think I know a person who's called McDonald. Let's take a look in this book and see if you can figure out who McDonald is. So Joe McDonald saw a pond. And this is by Mary Quattlebaum and illustrated by Laura Bryant. And here's our friend Joe sitting by the pond. She's got a writing tool and she has a recording journal. So she's going to take some notes. Maybe she'll use words as notes, or maybe she'll use a picture as a form of note taking. Let's find out. Joe McDonald saw a pond. Oh, and I can see the pond on the property. Wait a minute, here's a sign. Old McDonald's farm. Now I think I know where Joe lives and who Joe lives with. So here's the farm, there's the barn, the house and the pond on the farm property. And Joe's heading off with her science journal and her writing tool. I wonder who this person is that's behind her. Hmm. All right, let's take a find out of what Joe sees. Joe McDonald saw a pond, E-I-E-I-O, and in that pond she saw some reeds, E-I-E-I-O, with a swish swish here and a swish swish there, here a swish, there a swish, everywhere a swish swish, Joe McDonald saw a pond, E-I-E-I-O. And in that pond she saw some fish, E-I-E-I-O, with a blurp blurp here and a blurp blurp there, here a blurp, there a blurp, everywhere a blurp blurp, Joe McDonald saw some fish, E-I-E-I-O. Do you see the fish down in the pond there? I wonder if she'll make a note of that in her journal. And in that pond she saw a frog, E-I-E-I-O, with a croak, croak here and a croak, croak there, here a croak, there a croak, everywhere a croak, croak, Joe McDonald saw a frog, E-I-E-I-O. See those frogs jumping around? Oh, I see that she drew a frog in her science journal. And in that pond she saw some ducks, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack, Joe McDonald saw some ducks, E-I-E-I-O. And I see the mother duck has dived under the water to get some of the moss and algae that she likes to eat, and the little ducklings are watching and learning from her behavior. And by that pond she saw a bird, E-I-E-I-O, with a scree scree here and a scree scree there, here a scree, there a scree, everywhere a scree scree, Joe McDonald saw a bird, E-I-E-I-O. I wonder if she'll make a note of that, the red-winged blackbird by her pond. And at that pond she saw a raccoon, E-I-E-I-O, with a chat chat here and a chat chat there, here a chat, there a chat, everywhere a chat chat, Joe McDonald saw a raccoon, E-I-E-I-O. So I see a mother raccoon with her two little babies, just like William and Cammy, they had seen raccoons in their pond too. And at that pond she saw a deer, E-I-E-I-O, with a flick, flick here and a flick, flick there, 
Here a flick, there a flick, everywhere a flick, flick. Joe McDonald saw a deer. E-I-E-I-O. And I see her carefully taking a note in her journal of the deer that she saw. And at that pond she saw a dragonfly. E-I-E-I-O. With a whir, whir here and a whir, whir there. Here a whir, there a whir, everywhere a whir, whir. Joe McDonald saw a dragonfly. E-I, E-I. Wait, where's the O? And she is drawing that dragonfly. Hmm. Oh, splash! Who got or tried to get that dragonfly? Whoa! With a swish, swish here and a blurp, blurp there, with a croak, croak here and a quack, quack there, and a scree, scree here and a chat, chat there, with a flick, flick here and a whir, whir there. Here's everybody. Joe McDonald saw a pond, E-I-E-I-O. Old McDonald saw it too, E-I-E-I-O. So she's sharing her observations with Old McDonald. So now they both know what they could see at the pond. Now we know that a very important feature about a pond is its water. Hmm, so water is a pretty important feature, part of the pond. And that is why many animals have the pond as their habitat, because we know water is one of those things that you need. So scroll on down and find out what is your assignment for today?